J, the representative of the fifth year BSBCD graduating batch of 2013 from Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. As partial fulfillment for the requirements in the subject Industrial Electronics, we are here to present you a video of our project, which is entitled Industrial Process Automation. The system has three stages. First is the dispenser, the pick up place, and the material positioning or the storage. The main function of the system is to sort out materials made of metal from different types of Good day, my name is Casey, representing Group 1, and I am here to explain the first stage of the process automation, which is the dispenser. The first stage, the dispenser. This stage is composed of a stack container, one double acting pneumatic cylinder, one 5 is a 2 way double pilot solenoid valve, a conveyor, and a true beam sensor. The process starts with a programmable logic controller, which will send the logic signal to the solenoid valve. The valve will then allow the air pressure to flow through the double acting cylinder. Then, the cylinder will extend to push the block onto the conveyor. The conveyor will bring the material to the true beam sensor. When the connection of the sensor is interrupted by the object, it will send a signal to the PLC that the system is ready to dispense another object to the conveyor, repeating the whole process. The second stage, pick and place. This stage is composed of two double acting pneumatic cylinders, two 5 to 2 way double pilot solenoid bulbs, and a metal detector. The object in the conveyor will pass through another sensor, which will detect if the object is metal or not. If metal is detected, the sensor will send a signal to the PLC which will activate its operation. The PLC will first command the conveyor to stop moving. Then, a pneumatic cylinder with a magnetic plate will lower down to pick up the material and drop it into a panel, which will lead to the storing process. On the other hand, if a non-metal will pass through the metal detector, the operation of the PLC will not be triggered and the conveyor will continue moving, bringing the non-metal objects to another storage bin. And that's how the pick and place works. And now, here's the representative of Group 3 to explain how the last This stage is composed of three double acting cylinders, three 5 of 2 way single pilot solenoid valves, roller switches, LED, and light dependent resistor or LDR. The metal object from the pick and place process will then be placed in the material storage where there is a light dependent resistor. When the object blocks the light between the LED and the LDR, the PLC will be triggered to perform its operation. The first double acting cylinder will extend transporting the material to the first roller switch to activate the second cylinder. The process repeats up to the third cylinder. After the material triggered the last roller switch, the first and second cylinder will return to its initial state, waiting for the next material. And that's how the final process works. For more videos, 